What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Last Wraps Baseball video. Today it is day three of our 2020 BBM Hiroshima Toyo Carp break. And the first two days uh, we've had uh, some interesting look at some of the different cards and I've highlighted uh, a few of the guys in the back. Obviously uh, Risuko Kikuchi. Um, we pulled an autograph card yesterday of Shota Tobiashi, and of course we had on day one the mascot card, uh, Sly Lai, uh, enter our, uh, our midst as well. But um, before we, uh, we go any further, I'm going to take a time out, and we're going to take a look at Shota Tobiashi and his card and what we pulled and what it's all about. So Shota Dobiashi has been with the Carp since 2010, a three-time All-Star, but really his career numbers are not all that impressive for a guy who's played 10 seasons in the NPB. But a nice-looking autograph, cool-looking card, and there's Shota Dobiashi. Welcome back, everybody. We are going to be starting our break, and today we're going to do five more packs of the 2020 BBM. And as we mentioned, it is the 30th anniversary of Baseball Magazine, and certainly of their cards. And so you'll see that they have this 30th anniversary logo from time to time on stuff. And of course, the other day we noticed that it was like trying to get into a... Uh, Whatever they do to seal their uh, their cards up, they do a great job. They won't let you in. Um, but with some scissors and uh, some sharp objects, uh, we're finally able to pry our way into the uh, into the cards. So something different on the back there. Uh, certainly a different back. It'll be interesting to see what we have. So we've got a Ren Nakata as our first uh, card pulled. And then we have the manager, uh, Shinji Saseoka. And uh, there's uh, Shinji. And then we have a Takeyoshi Noma. Uh, we have the first look at Jose Perella, one of the players that we're looking at, ex-big leaguer, who last year uh, spent uh, 2019 uh, with the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. He had spent... The majority of his career with the Padres, and he began with the Yankees, uh, and uh, you can take a look at some of his stats online, but uh, he's been brought in to, uh, to be a powerful stick in the order. He played in the infield and the outfield last year for both the Phillies and the Padres, but that's Jose Perella. And there is uh, the guy we were talking about earlier, Shota Dobiashi, and his card as well. And lastly, uh, we have our other one. We've got our newcomer, DJ Johnson. That's our first look at DJ. And um, he's spent some time in the big leagues as well. So DJ Johnson, uh, sporting the beard, a la Brian Wilson back in the day with the uh, San Francisco Giants, is our newcomer. And then we're back to Ren Nakata at the top. So there is DJ. We'll be DJ on top, and we're going to get into pack number two. So, so far, pretty good. I'm kind of curious to see what how this breaks down. The cards, or it's a 100-card set, and then, of course, you have inserts and different things. And I'm kind of curious to see uh, if you're able to get a full set out of this box. And we'll recap that after our last video to see if we're able, what, what the double breakdown is, and, and if we're able to actually uh, get ourselves a full set. Hey, I've seen this guy before. Or Sly Lai, the mascot, and uh, mascot uh, card number two. So, always popular mascots, uh, certainly with the kids. And there's Shoda Nakazaki. So, if you're a mascot collector, whoop, or take that one down. It's getting a little too shiny over there uh, for our first one. So, uh, we'll put our mascot over here on the pile. Uh, there's uh, Shota Nakazaki. If you're a mascot collector, there's another Kikuchi, as you can see in the background. Kikuchi, Kikuchi. Um, and then there is a Kuya Fuji. And then we have, oh, we got a shiny card. We've got a great contributor. And Kyohei Nakamura is the first time we've seen this one. And so this looks like it's a, uh, it's a special insert. Uh, great contributor, GC2. And uh, again, really shiny card, kind of cool, different to look at. And then there's a Takashi Yu Yamoto. Takashi Yamoto. And then we're back to an uh, Kazaki at the beginning. So kind of neat, great contributor. 
We'll put that one on top and hide the mask out over here. And if there's no glare, we'll leave them there for a little bit. All right, here comes pack number three. And pack number three will feature hopefully more of the same. Uh, again, they have the odds on the back of these. And uh, for those of you who are interested, uh, it looks like the newcomers are maybe one in four and, uh, and then the Phantom and Esperanza and I don't know all the rest of that stuff. But I will run it through a, a Google Translator and some of you might want to do the same and then I'll give you an idea of what the odds are of getting some of these uh, are in the pack. So it looks like we're due for a Phantom. I don't think we've seen one of those and I don't know if we've seen Esperanza. So hopefully we're able to pull one of those out of one of these boxes. And as I rip through it, we got a rookie on the back, 2020 rookie. Uh, and we'll start off with the catcher that we had earlier. Uh, we haven't seen this card, but we saw the insert, and that was uh, Aizawa, Tsubasa Aizawa. And now we have a Supreme Glory, Supreme Glory of uh, Saya Suzuki. We've had the Supreme Glory. I just don't remember if I've got had Suzuki. I'll have to go back and take a look. And there is uh, Ichioka, the pitcher, uh, Ryuji Ichioka. And then we have a Koya Takahashi card, Koya Takahashi. And there is Daichi uh, Osera. And then a Masato Morishita rookie card. And then we're back to the top of our order again with the catcher that we've already pulled. So we've got two more packs to go today. Two more packs to go. And then the remaining packs we will do tomorrow and finish off our, uh, finish off our break. And here comes pack number four today. And again, another rookie on the back. Kind of neat. So what do we have here? We've got Hiroki Takoda. And then we have a Hiroki Takahashi. Hiroki Takahashi. And then Atsushi Endo. Another pitcher. And we have a Supreme Glory card again. And um, I don't believe we've seen Nishikawa in Supreme Glory infielder, number 63. Uh, and there's a DJ Johnson regular card. Of course, we pulled earlier, we pulled one of his, um, his inserts and a, a newcomer card. And then we have the rookie. We have a Yuya Nirasawa, uh, who's an infielder. And then back to the top to Dakota. So we got one more pack to go, one more pack left, and we'll see what we're able to do. So well, one autograph card so far out of the box, no relics, um, some interesting stuff. This pack, I'm wondering what we're getting in here. This pack here had a different feel to it. Felt lighter than some of the others, but uh, it's not to say that it means anything. It just felt a little differently, a little more air in it. If we're feeling up our packs, then we know. Um, what we can expect, and our last pack is going to be Hiroto Suzuki, pitcher, or rookie again for the carp, and then at Sushi Endo, and then we have uh, Ryuji Ichioka, and there's our first look at Alejandro Maya. Alejandro Maya, he's not on my list, not a former big leaguer, but uh, I wonder if he's had a chance. Boy, he's a pretty big looking dude. He looks like he's got some broad shoulders and strong, strong guy. Hit, uh, he's got a total of 10 career homers in Japanese leagues. So last year, it looks like on his numbers, seven homers, 17 RBIs, batted 259 and 162 at bats. So that looks like he only played a part of a season. So kind of curious to know a little bit more about him. Uh, you know, obviously translating that over to a full season, uh, he might have uh, a good solid, uh, you know, 25 to 30 home run type of guy. And there is Makoto uh, Adua. And then we have Mikiyaki Takahashi. And then the rookie, uh, Hiroto Suzuki, to, to finish it off. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, we got our six cards. Just didn't feel like six cards in that particular uh, portion of the break. Well, this is uh, this is round number two, um, or sorry, round number three completed out of the way of our Hiroshima Carp break. And uh, we'll be concluding it tomorrow with round four. So if you like the video, uh, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We really do appreciate you taking the time to, to watch. 
And uh, hey, leave us a note in the comment section. Let us know what you think about these cards. Uh, certainly the, uh, the, uh, the mascots and the inserts, a little bit different than what we're used to seeing here in North America, but um, uh, kind of cool stuff nonetheless. Uh, you've watched another Last Props Baseball video uh, production, and I want to wish everybody a great day. And uh, come on back again tomorrow. We'll do it all over again with the Hirashima Carp. Thanks, everybody.